Parthenon sculptures were brought from the Acropolis in Athens by Lord Elgin to Britain at the start of the 19th century. It's the ultimate in alchemy, isn't it? You take cold, hard marble and you turn it into warm flesh and flowing drapery. The story starts in the early 1800s. The Parthenon had fallen into ruin. Half the marbles were destroyed by neglect and war. Then, a British ambassador, Lord Elgin, made an agreement with Ottoman authorities who were in control of Athens at the time to remove some of the statues and friezes. He took about half of the remaining sculptures. And then he shipped that back to the UK. For a long time it remained part of his personal collection. So he. Lord Elgin's collection was lawfully obtained with permission from none other than the highest authority of the Ottoman Empire. It states the material term of Lord Elgin's wish to contemplate, mold, and measure the sculptures. Construction plan. At its center would be a new Parthenon, a temple to Athena and it would be one of the most astonishing buildings of the ancient world. The new construction program was of unprecedented magnitude and expense. The Parthenon in particular was extraordinarily expensive. It was filled with all sorts of architectural refinements. 